just recently Joe and I were working on a film up in Vancouver and um, we had to put a bald cap on one of our main actors and uh, and uh, the, the bald cap was, it's a customized bald cap made of silicone, so super bald, these encapsulator, beautiful, beautiful job. The pieces were being manufactured in, uh, in, in Wellington, New Zealand. And um, so we, basically there had been changes in the schedule and uh, we had to order the pieces and um, we had, the turnaround was real tight. So what was it, it was like, we ordered the pieces and we had like three days mm, that was, before that was shot. And then they were they were going to be shipped over to uh, Vancouver. We ship things from New Zealand all the time and never had a problem before. You know, they're, they're, it's always been cool. They know they know how to look after our gear, but this time this something time happened. This time it went very pear shaped. We received the box and we were shooting in like 36 hours. We get this box and it gets delivered to the trailer. And there it is, and I knew before even opening the box. I looked at the box, it was all dented in, it was scuffed up. It had a hole in it. It had a well. hole in it, there was a hole in the box, and uh, we're like, oh my God, and my heart stopped. And I'm like, there's no time, you know, to get these pieces. Like, if these pieces are not cool, like, we're screwed. So we open up the boxes, and sure enough, off the, the silicone ball caps had released, had pulled off the head forms. They were in tiny little balls in the corners of the boxes. And when I came, I came into the makeup trailer, I just saw, I saw Sarah trying to trying pull to these, these extremely delicate pieces, fragile. She's trying to pull them apart. Go, oh my God, what are they, what are we gonna All do? the flashing was torn off. It was, it was crazy. So, so basically, Joe gets on the phone with, uh, with our vendor, uh, with Weta Workshop in New Zealand, and said, "All right, guys, out. here's the thing." And he basically said, "We're screwed. With this is shooting in 36 hours. The actor is only going to be here for two days, and, and then, that's, we lose him. then we lose them. Production has organized this so that you know this is the two days, and then he's gone." What do we do? So in the end, it ended up that um, they had some extra bald caps that they had manufactured, so they were kind of they were hanging out at the shop. Thank God. So there was no turnaround for manufacture. We got a guy on a plane with the bald caps, and he hand delivered hand delivered them to Vancouver, and uh, showed up with these two boxes. Came running to set, run into the trailer, set him down on the floor. Our actor walked in, and we put him on. We put it on. So, there's a close call. Yeah, I mean, things can get bad, but there's always a way out. I guess that's it.